Hello everyone, this is Lucretia. And for those of you who are new to the channel, you are tuning in to another episode of Candid Conversations. Welcome and come in the room. Candid Conversations is designed to encourage your heart and your mind on the journey of life because it's a journey. So according to Isaiah 43, 19, let's discuss the seasons of life. Isaiah 43, 19 says, behold, I am doing a new thing and it springs forth. Can you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So let's talk about this new season thing because you know what? We all like to throw around, oh my God, God is doing something new and I'm in a new season. But when we find ourselves smack dead in the middle of a new season, sometimes what we want to do is run back to the old season, kind of like the children of Israel in the desert. And ultimately, we know that the best thing that God could have ever done is to send his son Jesus to die on the cross. But let's talk about the seasons of life that we have to travel through while on this earth. I'm going to let you know that when in a new season, it's new. It won't feel the same. Sometimes some things are different. Sometimes all things are different. Sometimes nothing is the same. And sometimes we can find ourselves in a new season trying to operate like we did in a previous season and it just doesn't work. When God is doing something new, it is bound to make us un comfortable because when we're in a new season, it's like we have to relearn. We have to adapt to a new way of thinking, a new environment, a new way of doing things. And it seriously is an opportunity to stretch. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to build character, but it can also make us want to run back to that which is familiar because at least if it is familiar, it is comfortable and we know what we are doing. But how many of us know that when we are comfortable, when we have it all figured out, first of all, we don't always trust God. And second of all, we're not growing and it's easy to become complacent. And I think about traveling and purchasing a new car. I've done that a couple times in my life to God be the glory. And when you get this new vehicle, of course, some of the things function the same, but there are some functions that are completely different from the vehicle that I was previously driving. So when I'm driving that car, I have to get acclimated and adjusted to the new vehicle in life. And I know maybe that's a simplistic view of things, but, it really is kind of similar in a way. And I have to read the own, owner's manual to see how certain features function in a new vehicle. Our manual is the word of God. And when we are in a new season, we can't do things our own way because the same God who's been faithful enough to bring us to this season will be faithful enough to teach us in this season. But we have to access him. We have to pray and we have to read our Bible and we have to trust the Holy Spirit to lead, the Holy Spirit to teach and the Holy Spirit to guide. And we also have to trust and be thankful for the people who've gone before us and who paved a way for us. And maybe no one's done that, but we have to be thankful for the opportunity to pave the way for someone else. So it's a new season and maybe it feels a tad bit uncomfortable, but hang in there because God says, behold, I am doing a new thing. And the new thing that he does a lot of times, maybe it's not a change in, envir in environment, but perhaps it's a change in us. 
All right. Have a good day. Bye.